Welcome back guys. All right, day number two. We've got another box to open. Let's see, we're gonna start off with, let's go with this guy down here. And hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck with this one. Although, even though we pulled two special rares in that last box, um, pretty exciting. I am really looking for those secret rares. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I hope you guys liked that last video. I actually enjoyed quite a lot making it here. I'm gonna play around with some camera angles after a couple of videos, see if we get a better image or better uh, visual for you guys, but also to make it a little bit easier for me. Okay, so for our box topper, we've got a Cell Max. I'm trying to make sure we get rid of that glare a little bit. I know the uh, blinds over here are pretty bright. I was hoping that might help with backlighting. Again, we'll play around with that as we're going. Okay, and right into it. So, similar like the first box, I'm going to go through the first half of the packs uh, a little bit quicker than last time, right? Again, we've seen a lot of those commons and uncommons, so we don't want to waste too much time there. But I uh, do want to appreciate the artwork, especially since there's somebody that spent a lot of time, right? A lot of effort, a lot of skill, a lot of training to be able to make that work. And sure, maybe, yeah, they're using computer systems nowadays. It still takes effort and time and skill. So we want to make sure we appreciate some of that stuff. Okay. If you like any of these cards, want to see them more detailed, let me know. So for our first foil, we have, oh, I actually did miss that. Uh, Sun Goku and Korin. It is just an uncommon here. Put on the side and just a regular rare. Okay. Now, if you missed this last video, what you're going to notice is I'm going to sleeve every foil. And the reason, my philosophy is I want to make sure that we're keeping these cards in as good condition as possible. But also, if in, down, uh, if in case down the road somebody wants to buy some of these cards, then they're also going to be in the best condition for them as well. I want to make sure that everything I do, I attempt to do the best that I can. So even with these cards, and I'm going to demonstrate this is just a comment, I'm not just pulling down and if you listen, you can hear it sliding, right? We don't want to be scratching up the surface in the card beneath it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually lifting it forward a little bit while I'm also pulling it down. Okay, our foil for this pack is a rare Gamma 1 Hero Pride. And then just a regular rare. Now again, also just good habit. You can see I have gloves on. I don't want to damage the cards either myself. And uh, maybe it's a little bit over the top for me. Let me know if you guys get that um, anal or, or detail to make sure that you are preserving these cards here. Hopefully we're going a little bit quicker than that first video. I do want to keep these short, straight to the point, uh, informative, but also fun, right? We got to enjoy some of these scenes and artwork. Now I'm curious, what are your favorite sagas, right? Oop, wrong way. I, I really enjoyed Trunk Saga. And again, I, I shared a little bit about why in my last video. Our foil here is just in common fortune teller. But I'm, I'm curious, I know Frieza Saga was actually a very favorite saga for some friends of mine growing up. And I guess also it depends on age, right? I was at the right age watching the, the Trunk Saga that it really hit home to me. But when we got further into like the Boo and Fusion, I don't know. I was, I was probably aging out a little bit. I know I was getting uh, near the end of high school. So had to become an adult, can't be just watching cartoons anymore. I look back now thinking, wow, you know, if only I knew what I knew ne uh, then, I'd probably have a lot more, more valuable cards. We have a common Shenron foil. Okay, we do have a third one in here. So let's see what we get after our rare. And it is just a special, uh, super rare SS Sun, Go Go Sun Gohan and Sun Goten Emotions Delivered. Now, that's a pretty beautiful looking card, how it has all three Goku, Gohan, Goten together. I'm going to read that one off screen, see if it might be an idea to put a deck together. Okay, And even though it is just a common, we're going to leave that up. It'd be pretty interesting to also see how many duplicate common and uncommon rares we're going to get. Uh, I'm going to have an Excel sheet all put together after each booster, I'm sorry, um, after each box. 
so that way we can kind of track some of the stats and see what we get. According to the research or, or what I can find online, each case there should be one god pack, right? So one pack that's all foils. But then there should also be two secret rares. And if you're lucky to get a god rare, it might be replacing one of those secret rares. So I want to see what that happens. Because I've also heard some people pulling out all three secret rares and god rare in the same pack. Our foil for here is Demonic Blade. I'm going to sleeve that up. Just a regular rare. So I'm curious if I might also have that super luck. That uh, manufacturer's packaging defect. And if we do, well, that'd be pretty damn exciting, right? It's going to all be on video. We can share all of that excitement together. Soon we'll probably start doing these live. Obviously, we want to get a bit of a following so we can have an actual nice live zoom. And our foil for this pack is Cumber Jet Black Hostility. Now, this is a rare. Um, hmm. I know I was talking about making a deck for Broly. Cumber looks pretty interesting in this set, especially a lot of the comments I've been reading online. People have been giving Cumber quite a bit of love. I'm going to have to look into that one too. The problem <laughs> for me when I get into these kinds of games is I tend to do a lot of analysis, right? And that's not a bad thing, obviously, but it can also lead to analysis paralysis. So many options, so many paths. Which way do I want to go? Don't end up actually doing anything. And the best way I found to get around that is just jump in. Just do something. It's okay. You don't have to have the perfect deck. You don't have to have everything figured out. When you play around, you have fun. You you, you kind of learn what you know, what you don't know. And it's okay. You, you learn more by losing. Our foil for this pack is a common Gamma 1. Ooh, and we do have three cards. What is going to be our special? Ooh, I ah, thought that was the Goku for uh, the Gogeta for a second. We have a super rare SS Gogeta, sparking to utmost limit. So now, super rares, special rares, and secret rares. Not only get the penny sleeve treatment, we're also gonna be putting them in the top loader. And where is my display box? Uh, we'll put him. Kind of run out of space on his desk. That's all right. Put him right over here. And even though it's common, just leave the bad boy up. It's a foil card. With the um, original score set, so this is, actually it may not have been the original. I think there was a set before score for Dragon Ball Z. Uh, the first set I collected or was uh, really buying, those foils now, I mean, depending on what you got, even the commons can be worth a couple of bucks. Now, yeah, granted, it's 20 years later. The rarity of even common cards is much higher. But if you got one of those, uh, well, back then, what was it called? It was, uh, you know, seven stars, super rare. Those can go for a few thousand dollars. Our foil for this is a common Genembra. The point being, we don't even know what the future is going to hold, right? 20 years from now, if we're all still here, ooh, and we got a super rare, super foo. Assault Dominator. We got the focus gets good on that. You guys can see it. I know the foiling sometimes messes with that. Uh, well, so what I was saying, you know, we never know what the future is going to hold. That's why I take the extra effort, take the extra time. I put on gloves. I make sure that as I'm separating out the cards, we're trying not to slide them on the, the face so much so we can really keep the uh, cards in great shape. Okay, those were a little bit closer to the top, so you have to be careful opening that pack. Now we're almost done with the first half, so we can get through the second half a little bit quicker. There we go. No sneak peeks. I know I saw something a little bit shiny. Let's see what we get. Our foil for the pack is this next card. Nope, sorry. This next card. Sun Koku. It is a rare. <laughs> Now, there's a weapon system. I know if I shared it last time with you guys uh, a little bit that, you know, I did martial arts. I still do martial arts. And there's a weapon system I train in. It's Okinawan. That the way the system works 
it reminds me of Son Goku's bow staff, that ever expanding bow staff. Even though it's obviously you know, mystical, it's not real, it doesn't happen in real life, at least I haven't seen it. The way that this system works reminds me so much of that. And it's a, a little bit of a hidden system, it's not easy to find. Uh, so, um, actually, you, you might be able to find a little bit of research about it online. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. You'll have to check back maybe in a future video. Our foil for this is just a common battle with the Red Ribbon Army. And we have a normal rare. Uh, but if down the line you guys might be interested to learn some of that system, we could probably put together some training, some seminars, give you guys a couple of sessions to try it out, to play around with it, see if you like it. I've been doing that one for whew, well over a decade now, probably close to 15 years if I remember correctly. Let's see, our foil for this pack is Dormant Super Warrior. It's a common card. Okay, and so this is what I was talking about. This Brawly Red and Green. Got a couple of these cards in the last box. And it, I mean, I love how the red and the green kind of blend together, but it also gives me some ideas for making a Brawly deck. I gotta play around with that. I'll get back to you guys about uh, some of my thoughts and uh, maybe put a deck together. I do also need to find some people around here that play. So that is a difficulty, right? I'm not out on the West Coast. I'm not in the California area, Los Angeles, where I know they have some tournaments. So I got to see what's available around me. Or, hey, if we've got some uh, individuals who are a little bit more uh, tech savvy, want to put together an online tournament, maybe we can do something like that as well. Okay, this is the last pack of the first half. Second half, we're going to skip all these commons and uncommons. We should have been able to see all of them, or at least most of them. And then uh, we're going to jump right to the foils and see if we get lucky. So far, we've only gotten a couple of super rares. So if the odds and uh, ratios work out for us, maybe we'll find a special rare or even a secret rare. Obviously, it'd be great to get that god rare. But, you know, we've still got 10 more boxes in this case. SSB Vegito is our rare for the pack. Let's leave this guy up. Cumber. Okay, second half. What do you guys think? What do you feel? Perhaps the left side, the left stack. Oop, apologize for that. Let's get you guys lined back up. Okay, let's see. Perhaps the left stack is going to have better, more valuable stuff than the right. Let's jump right to the back. Our foil. Ooh, okay. Bio Warrior. Just a common here, but the way it went ooh is we do have three cards. Put that on the side. SS2 Son Goku. All right, and we have another super rare, Janembra. Okay, so I got excited there for a second, thinking it might have been, uh, you know, that uh, elusive god rare we were looking for. But that's okay. I will take that. It is still a very beautiful card. Put those over on the side. Next pack, jump right to the back, three cards, okay, so we've got something going on here. So far on this left side, we've gotten three cards for uh, the top two packs, so it means we've got a couple of possibilities. The foil for this one is Pan, okay, Sun, SS Sun Goten, and let's see, oh, we've got SS Cumber, Assailant's Fury, that is a beautiful card. I really love that dark red maroon with the black and the gold foiling. Oh, man, that is pretty, pretty sexy. I'm going to look into this one, see what kind of deck ideas we might have with that. Get our penny sleeve and our top loader. This is right now my favorite card out of this box. Put him right in the front. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, don't want to forget sleeving up this foil. And let's move on. Let's see. Can we get three out of three? Jump to the back three cards. All right. We did not get three out of three. Our foil for this one is Great Saiyaman. And our regular Penumbra. Or Genumbra. Actually, if you guys were here in this, the last video, 
there was a pack where we pulled this rare, but we also pulled the foil of this rare in the same pack. Don't know what the odds are, odds are for that, but that's uh, pretty exciting. I always like seeing unique and different things happen. Okay, let's see what we get. Jumping to the last three. Okay, so we got something here. Our foil is Focus Barrage. It's a common card. Okay, Mercenary Tau is our rare. And what do we get? Ah, super rare. Cell Max, Return of Despair. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. Never going to turn down an extra foil or a super rare plus card. Okay, but he's not my favorite. So we're going to keep our Cumber right in the front. Foil, uh, sleeve up our foil. Okay. okay, I'm starting to get excited. Adrenaline's starting to pump a little bit here. We're getting down to the end of this box. All right, so nothing special in this one, but we did get a rare foil. Piccolo Power Beyond Awakening. It's a little bit hard to see. We've got to work on that focus for you guys here, hopefully in that next video. Oh, and here's what I was talking about. So we pulled the same card in foil, non-foil. It's exactly what we did in the last box with Janumbra. So I'm curious now, does every box have one rare foil in the same pack as its non-rare foil? So I'm going to sleeve them both up together. It's a nice little memento and reminder for myself. Again, you know, more of a, a collection item kind of an idea than anything else. Okay, next pack. Okay, I think we got some luck in this one. You can tell, here, I'll show you. So when you open the pack and you pull them out, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but if you notice, there's a slight gap from this third card. Sometimes these foils like to bend more than the non-foil cards. So when you open up the pack, if you uh, don't want to give yourself, oops, sorry for that, if you don't want to give yourself um, any spoilers, then don't look on the side. <laughs> You'll be able to tell right away and that's how sometimes it's easy to just pull off right to the foil. If you got something special in there. Okay, so our foil is SS Sun Go 10. It's just a common card. We got another Piccolo Power Beyond Awakening Rare. And, okay, we got a special rare. Sun Goku, Duel with an Assassin. Back from the original series. That's a nice looking card. The way that the gold on this lines up with all of the streaks out... It actually has a little bit of a nice texture. I could feel that even through these gloves. Okay. Bring it down to the bottom. Keep our SS Cumber in the front. He is my favorite so far. Okay. Let's leave this guy up. How many packs we got left? Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So far, we've done pretty good, right? We've gotten a couple of uh, special rares. We haven't gotten the secret or god rare yet. So, fingers crossed. What do you guys think? Are we going to get it in these last six packs? Okay, so like I was telling you, let's see if we can get this focus. Uh, maybe not. A little bit difficult. Oop, I had it for a second. Come on. Nope, maybe not. Okay, well, there's a little bit of the gap. So this is a two-card pack, which means we've just got our foil. It's a common Sun Goku. Five left, down to the wire. Now, I will say, even if we don't get anything else special or fancy, that SS Cumber does make me pretty happy about this. Ooh. Okay, even though it's an uncommon card, this foil, this SS Broly, the artwork on it with the foiling on it, mwah, just, it's beautiful. <laughs> I, uh, I can hear some of you guys already making some comments about that little French kiss. <laughs> it was a spur of the moment. You know, I'm only human. Getting down to the last couple packs. Let's see if we've got any luck. Okay, not with this one. Foil Magenta. Gamma 2 is our rare. Okay, last three. Now I'm going to actually, I'm going to go for this guy first. We have two blue and a green, so I'm going to open up one of the blue packs. Okay, these guys are on the top, so we got to be a little bit careful here. 
That would be really bad if we got the god rare in this and we nicked the top with the scissors. Oof. I'd be really upset, but that's okay. We did it. We got a rare foil, SS on Goku, okay, and a Janembra. I am quite curious if each box has one of those foil rares in the same pack as its regular rare. So come back. Let's check out that third box and see if that happens, or if I'm just getting lucky, right? That happens two times in a row, two boxes in a row. Okay. Ooh, okay. Nope, not lucky. We do have a foil rare Janembra. Okay, leave it up. Last pack. Okay, I'm going to pause here for a second real quick. What do you guys think? Are we going to get another super rare, special rare, secret rare, or that infamous, elusive, sexy god rare? Let me know what you think. Big thumbs up. Hopefully, if you like the way this has been working, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Okay, we do have something here. We've got three cards. Common, Sun Gohan, Close Call. Oh, and I tried to not give it away, but we did kind of get a sneak peek. Sun Goku, Duel with an Assassin. This is the super rare. So we got the special rare version of this. And that's actually something else that I really like about the Zenkai set. Uh, Maybe it's with the earlier sets as well, but I really like how you could have the same card. Do we have it in this box? Yes, we do. And even though it's the same card, the artwork is different, right? So you have the super rare and then you have the special rare. Now the super rare, you have it. It's a little bit more flat. It does have that gold. It's got a slight bit of a texture, but that special rare, ooh, it's definitely got a three-dimensional feel and look to it. It's pretty nice. So... Let's recap and review real quick. The card I like the most, we've got our SS Cumber, Cell Match Return of Despair, Janembra Devious Trickster, Super Fu Assault Dominator, SS Gogeta, remember that one uh, made me think maybe we got it for a quick second, Sun Goku Duel with an Assassin Super Rare, and the Special Rare. Well, thank you so much, guys. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Let me know. Um, if everything's going good, take care.